Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect the database to websites in HTML in 2023. So we're going to explore the fundamentals of connecting database to a website using HTML and server side scripting. While HTML structure web content, it's the collaboration with server side scripting and database that enable dynamic websites. So let's dive into the high level overview of how these components work together and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, we will have to go and open whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser and of course in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. So, before like starting with anything, just understand like the role of HTML. HTML lays uh, the foundation for web content, defining the structure and elements. It's the backbone of web pages, but doesn't directly handle database, interactions, or server-side functionalities. So, if you want to connect a database, or let's just introduce like server-side scripting. So, to connect a database to your website, you'll need a server-side scripting language, like PHP, Node.js, or Python. These languages execute on the server and enable dynamic content generation based on user requests. If you don't know nothing about these three languages like PHP, Node.js, or Python, don't proceed doing that to whatever of your websites by your own. Make sure to hire a professional or ask a friend that you know uh, he's like good at one of these languages to do it for you or just to aid you doing that so you don't miss things around. Then you'll have to go and choose, a set, choose then set up a database system. As an example, we have MySQL, MongoDB, or Firebase from Google, whatever you want. Then you'll have to create a database instance, define tables and establish connections, allowing your server side script to interact with the database. As an example, you can access that through the URL section, so go to my SQL, and we have even MongoDB or Mongo, sorry, so MongoDB. So go and access those. Go and create your account if you have an account, as you can see, or log in into uh, or so log in into your account if you have an account and you don't. You'll have to go and register. As an example, of course, uh, you will have to, as you can see, fill out those informations on my SQL. For MongoDB, you'll have to go like and log in into your account or create an account. For me, I don't know if I created my account. I, I actually don't remember much if I did. So yeah, I created by it. I didn't finish. I'll just go and like do like some random informations. Why not? I'm not reading all of that for you. Make sure to enter accurate stuff. So for me, I'll just go and hit the finish. And yeah. I'll have to, I'll do this dark mode. It's very easy to use that. Okay, maybe I didn't save. So I'll have to go back in there. I'll use the dark mode. Yeah, it seems like everything is good. So now, as I said, you will have to go and create a database entrance uh, or instance, define tables, and even establish connections, allowing your server side scripts to interact with the database. Then, make sure to write it like a server-side script that interacts with the database. These scripts process user requests, execute database qu queries, uh, like as an example, fetching data, inserting records, and generate dynamic content. Of course, as I said again, or as I said before, if you don't know nothing about decoding, uh, HTML, PHP, uh, JavaScript, Python, don't proceed with that alone. Or, as an example, you can use an AI tool to help you out, like ChatGPT. So you can go and open a new tab, go to chat.openai.com, hit the enter button. Just go, okay, my session is expired. So let's just go and log in again. Click on login. Continue with Google. Log in into my account. And this should log me. Yeah, this should log me into my account. So, as an example, I'll just tell him that I want to connect a data uh, base so a database into my website using html can you like as an example give me the steps to do 
so and even writes me the code to uh, integrate as an example i'll just see what he's gonna do so as you can see he will give you the steps so you'll have to set up your database create a server side uh, as we said script and you'll have to use html to structure your websites and embed php within it interact with the database and here's a basic example using php to connect uh, to my sql as we said like this one uh, database and display the data on html pages so they basically as an example they uh, it gave us all the code you'll have to copy it customize it uh, of course you'll have to check the code first of all customize it and as you can see they are e even tell you what to do so replace your username your password your database name and your table name with your actual database credentials and the table name so you will get that of course from my sql or from like uh, the mongodb wherever you are going to get that from just uh, change that of course and here in the code of course where it's going to be like we'll have to look from here as you can see the server name username password and uh, db name so you'll have to go and change those as an example so the those that's i'm going to highlight now as you can see you'll have to choose or to change that then implement that on the websites that you have which website so go to whatever website you have uh, i don't know where you have it like maybe you have it in godaddy go in that maybe you have it on strikingly uh I don't know so uh strikingly as example strikingly yeah so let's just go to that example i don't know where you have it so just go and access your website add it as a code to your website uh, maybe you have it on your wordpress maybe you have it on your woocommerce so wherever you have it just go and access that add it as a code as you can see chat basically gives us everything to do they give you the steps and as you can see this code snips demonstrates a basic connection to database and fetching data for more complex uh, operation or security consideration like preventing sql injection additional steps and the major are required also remember to keep your database credentials secure and do not directly expose them in your code so as you can see very simple just go and change the like username password name and everything and implement that code into your websites as HTML code and you will be good to go. So for you, already congratulations on understanding collaboration, of course, between HTML, server-side scripting and database and creating dynamic websites. So thank you for joining me today. And uh, here, of course, if you like this video, make sure to leave a like in this video and subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials like this one. And I'll catch you or see you in the next video. So thanks for watching.